listen, Boston went into Florida, took that game. They could take both games heading into there today. Mm -hmm. uh, no Bergie, no problem. At first I was like, ah, man, that might not help Boston at all. Doesn't seem to phase them. They could take both games in Florida and head back to Boston to end the series. Yeah, speaking of love, everyone loves their cup chances. And the mm -hmm. fact that they're doing this, as you point out, without Patrice Bergeron, David Krejci's yeah. been hurt. Uh, pretty impressive that they are looking to go up 3-1. Uh, Bruins on the power play here. Sergey Bobrovsky makes a pair of fantastic saves in tight, but the puck is still loose when Brad Marchand digs for it and gets it into the back of the net. Now, it's initially, initially ruled no goal as the whistle had gone, but after a review, the ref said the puck was actually in before the whistle was blowing. Martian has his third of the playoffs. Boston takes a 1-0 lead. Panthers head coach Paul Maurice not exactly happy with the referee's explanation. Uh, I got no Probably idea what came out of his mouth or what's Something in his brain. Shut up with Mo always has a jam in front of the mic. Mm -hmm. And as you point out, we did see that in the Leafs lightning game last yeah, night. Yeah, it's strange. It's now a 2 nothing late for Boston in a second. Matthew Kachuk, how many times have we seen that between the legs? His second of the playoffs cuts the deficit at half. So it was a 2-1 game going into the third period. And now it's 3-1, Florida on the power play when Sam Bennett pounces on the rebound and buries it. That's Florida's first power play goal of the series to once again make it a one-goal game. But later, Bruins on the rush when Jake DeBrus gets a rebound of his own and makes no mistake. DeBrusque has his second of the game, third of the series. The Bruins back up a pair. Then after Taylor Hall made it 5-2, Panthers with the net empty and pressuring when Kachuk tries to bat in a rebound, but after Kachuk's chance, he takes a jab at Linus Allmark. The Bruins take exception to that, grabbing the Panthers superstar and throwing him on the ice. A line brawl ensues, then after being down, Kachuk goes back after Allmark. The Bruins goalie throws off his blocker. He's ready to go. Kachuk and Allmark yapping back and forth. The refs won't let that happen. Then fans start to throw the plastic rats on the ice and Omar's to the Panthers run to the cup final in 96. Uh, Scott Mellenby not in the building. Craziness though in Florida. Kachuk and Allmark both received misconducts. Uh, Jeremy Swayman would come in to goal for Boston to relieve Allmark. Uh, the Bruins do take a 3-1 series lead, winning big on the road. 6-2 is her final. Brad, Linus got his glove and blocker off. Had that escalated with him and Kachuk, how do you like his odds if they'd let, let them go? I mean, he's got the size and reach, you know, but uh, maybe a little less experience than Kachuk. Uh, maybe one day we'll get to see. As a goalie, you're just expected to stop pucks. You're not supposed. You're not expected to take stick work, you know, and someone coming after you. So uh, we stick together, and we stuck together. Really proud of our group how we stuck together there. They had six players on the ice because they had the pull goalie situation. Now we mentioned the injuries that Boston's facing right now. So their depth has been on display in this series with Taylor Hall and Jake DeBrusque combining to score seven of Boston's 16 goals so far. And they are currently first and third in team scoring. DeBrusque collected his third career multi-goal playoff game.